Okay, so this is where we're going to deal with the link generator. And um, we're going to break this down as simple as possible for you. There's a three-step process. Generate the link, add the link to a menu in WordPress, and then test it on your WordPress blog. Okay, as I was saying, we already have our WordPress blog set up. Um, and I also have it semi-configured, so we're just going to walk through the steps and uh, you will be able to absolutely observe what we're doing here. Okay, so um, we're on our WordPress blog in our dashboard section, and in another tab we have our affiliate center here. Now, first of all, you have to find the link generator, which um, if you go through all of your menus, uh, it does not be, it's not completely apparent where that is. Uh, this took me a while to find. Well, when you go to Merchandising Central, you'll notice there's nothing that says Link Generator, okay? But it, it adds a, it adds a pull-down menu right here, Site, and down that is Link Generator. That's a little tricky to find, so you may want to, that's a little tip to get started. If you'll notice in, in, in our map, we're just going to go to our map here, we're going to generate the link right now. That's what we're going to be involved in. So let's just say um, we want to generate a link. We're going to make this a menu for uh, our, uh, our blog, okay? And so I'm gonna, we're going to do hotel search page. Now it asks you actually to uh, select a city, so I'm going to select my own city, San Jose, um, and I want to tell you that you don't want to put, uh, whoopsie, I, I blew that, so hang on here, we're going to go back to Link Generator, San Jose, right there and select the province or state, California. And uh, then we're gonna do hotel search page. Now you can put some variables as defaults, but I'm just gonna, I wanna make this a menu. So I'm just gonna build the link. So look at the link and you'll notice the ID, the CID, CID is automatically put in. You grab the link and I'm using a Mac, so I'm gonna use Command C, or if you're using a Windows environment, you would use you know Control C, and we'll pick it up, and you'll go into Appearance and then Menus, and I've created a menu called Main Menu called Travel, and I've already, like I said, I've created uh, a hotel portion of that menu, and I've taken uh, the URL. And you'll notice I can just uh, go control and mouse click and select all. And I can actually delete that and then go command V on the Mac and put the link in that we just built for hotels. And you pull down and you go save menu. And that is as simple as it is to build all of these links for each of those sections. So if you go to my home page, uh, my WordPress blog, and you go to Hotels, you click on that, and bingo, it's right there and it's ready to go in terms of uh, searching for hotels. And if you click on the home, it'll take you right back uh, to our website, which is beachrodeos.com. So uh, it's that simple to build those links and build the menus out. And I've done it for flights and I've done it for car rental. And then I have some other things, other additional information that I put on uh, the blog. That's all there is to this portion. Let's just go back to our map to keep on track. We've just done the link generator. We've generated a link. We've added the link to a menu in WordPress. We've tested it on our blog. It worked fine. Made sure our ID was in there and it worked perfectly. And that is as easy as it is. So we're going to get back to RSS feeds uh, and widgets. But we'll, the next one we'll be talking about is widgets. And those are really cool because now you can actually begin to build your content with posts on your WordPress blog, and we'll show you how.